January 2024, what did I watch at home? Well, it started off with Avatar, The Way of Water. This sweet collector's edition. It was expensive, 50 bucks, but I watched every piece of it. I watched all the special features, the documentaries, the deleted scenes. It was great. It looked stunning in 4K. Really great movie. I think it was worth the $50. Then I watched Land of the Dead. I hadn't seen this in a while. A good little zombie flick. Dennis Hopper, John Leguizamo. Um, I don't know if it's as great as I remembered, but it was good. It's a quick watch. It's a fun zombie flick if you're into that sort of thing. Then I watched Doomsday. I, could, I didn't remember this very much. I upgraded this from DVD to Blu-ray. We rewatched it. Really enjoyed it. It's like a post-apocalyptic kind of Mad Max kind of film with some cool action scenes. It gets a little over top at the end, but uh, a fun watch for sure. I still don't know how to say this. Les Miserables, Les Miserables. I had never seen this. Wanted to watch it. I enjoyed it. I didn't really love it. Um, sometimes when they were singing just everyday dialogue, it got a little old. Um, but it was good. It was some good performances. I, I, I'm glad I have it in the collection. <clears throat> then I watched the Mummy Trilogy. Yeah, I watched all three. It had been a really long time since I watched them. They're still fun movies. Are they as great as I remembered? No. Do the special effects hold up? Not really. But Brendan Fraser is great in these. Uh, I was really disappointed. I forgot that in the third movie, Rachel Weisz is not in there, which was weird. Um, and I, I don't remember. I thought I liked the third movie better than I did. When I rewatched this, I was like, okay, maybe I don't like the third movie very, as much as I thought I did. Ten Things I Hate About You was the next thing I watched. And this one I thought I hadn't seen, but when I started watching it and I raised a big hubbaloo online, I, I realized I had seen this movie. It's just been a really long time, and it is a great movie. Heath Ledger is great in this movie. Everybody's great in this movie. Great cast. Um, really good movie. Then I watched American Gangster in 4K. This was a DVD upgrade. I had not watched this in a while. I mean, it's a great movie. Russell Crowe, Denzel Washington, directed by the great Ridley Scott. The 4K transfer was beautiful. Um, I watched the, all the uh, I watched the extended uh, cut and all the deleted scenes. Uh, great movie. Glad to have it in the collection in 4K. I watched Baby Driver at work while I was uh, reformatting a lab of computers. Um, but we did watch it. And it's still a great movie. As I was sitting there watching, I was like, man, this movie is great. Lily James is fantastic. Um, great movie. <clears throat> then this sweet steel book of Starship Troopers. Um, and it was in 4K. I had not seen this movie in a while either. Uh, really fun. Uh, I forgot how good the music was in this. It's just a really good movie. I enjoyed it. Yes, it's satire. It's trying to make a lot of different points, but it's just a fun movie, and I really enjoyed it. Finally, just got done with Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Uh, hadn't seen this movie in a while either. This was a DVD upgrade as well. Great movie. But just two young actors who are looking good and lots of cool, fun action scenes. You can tell there's some good chemistry between them in this movie. And yeah, it was just a fun time. 